Hi everyone, OpenAI just released something which has made even Elon Musk scared. ChatGPT can now access all of the information which was not included in its training data. Yes, it can access all the latest information on the web. Moreover, if you ask ChatGPT, it can take actions such as plan and book your dream vacation, find and book a table at a restaurant or order food for you. This new steroid is called ChatGPT plugins. Now, ChatGPT can search for current events from the web, read the contents of a website, do new searches or click on links to find more information. This is just like what you or me would do if we were researching something. Not only that, it will give you source for the facts that it has mentioned in its response. But here comes the scary yet cool part. ChatGPT can write, run and debug Python code in its own sandbox environment. This new plugin is called Code Interpreter and OpenAI claims it to be safe and secure. It even allocates ephemeral memory for you to temporarily store your files. Using this, you can tell ChatGPT to write and execute code during your chat conversation. You can upload files during your chat conversation and later you can download the results of your work. Not satisfied yet? Here are some of its applications. Code Interpreter can solve mathematical problems. It can do analysis and visualizations on your input data. It can convert file between formats. It can edit your image using Python libraries like OpenCV. It can even create video games and much, much more. To sum it up, anything that you can do yourself by writing Python code, ChatGPT can do it for you. It's like having your own junior programmer who does everything you ask without whining or asking for money. What's more crazy about this is that one day, possibly, ChatGPT could also be able to train its own machine learning model. Another plugin that's going to put a lot of people out of jobs is the Retrieval plugin. Imagine that you're a, you're a college student and you need to find some information from a very big research document. Or you are a professional and you need to find a piece of information from a very large company document. That's when ChatGPT's open source Retrieval plugin comes in handy. You can access your personal or organizational data sources like files, notes, emails or public documentation by just asking question or stating what you need in natural language. Retrieval plugin is open source and self-hosted, which means that any organization can configure and deploy their own version of the plugin. Thus, the data of the company remains internal and secure. The browser, code interpreter and retrieval plugin were internal plugins made by ChatGPT. But ChatGPT also supports third-party plugins and many companies have come forward and made their own plugins for ChatGPT. Let's see the power of ChatGPT when you combine the three plugins of Instacart, OpenTable and Wolfram. We will ask ChatGPT to suggest a place for dining out on Saturday, to suggest a recipe for Sunday, give the total calorie count and also order groceries that will be used in that recipe. It's amazing how it uses OpenTable to find a restaurant for Saturday, how it counts the calories in the suggested recipe by using Wolfram and gives us an Instacart link with the grocery items already added in the cart. You can even create your own app backend and make a ChatGPT plugin where users give natural language inputs to interact with your application. Now, if I can do everything while chatting with ChatGPT, then all of the other applications become backend and ChatGPT becomes the one consumer facing application. What might happen in the future is that we will have one unified natural language interface where we interact with all of our applications and you don't have to go and open up different applications for different tasks. There is a huge possibility that this will lead to the birth of another app store just like Google Play Store or Apple Store and there is big potential for developers to go and make ChatGPT plugins in these early days, gain consumer traction and make a lot of money. Because there are many safety and security concerns over these plugins being used for harmful or unintended activities or hackers using them for misleading, defrauding or abusing people. Hence, OpenAI is rolling the plugin access very slowly to the general public. Let's hope that we get to witness the exciting future ahead and not be limited by bad elements. If you found this video informative, then go and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It will help me make more such videos for you in the future. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.